Hey guys, we are moving into multiplying and dividing fractions. So we are gonna talk about something called cross simplifying, which can make those fractions a little bit easier to work with. So we're gonna answer the question, how do I cross simplify fractions? So when multiplying and dividing fractions, you can cross simplify the fractions that have common factors to make the number smaller and easier to work with. So cross simplify means we're gonna look at the opposite numerator and denominator from each of the fractions. So to cross simplify, we are going to see if the numerator and de denominator from opposite fractions have any common factors. If they do, then we'll divide both numbers by that common factor and then we'll write out the cross simplified fractions. And then to cross simplify mixed numbers, we will need to convert them to an improper fraction first. So let's look at number one. These are both fractions. Now I can just jump to cross simplifying. So let's look at 21 and seven. Those are both divisible by seven. So I'll divide both of those by seven. And then 18 and four are both even, so they're divisible by two. So I'm gonna divide both of those by two. So 21 turns to three, and then the seven turns to one, and then the four turns to two, and the 18 turns to nine. So I get three over two, and nine over one. And those fractions have smaller numbers which are a lot easier to work with than the original fractions. Okay, let's look at the next one. Let's look at five and nine first. Those don't have any common factors, so I'm gonna leave them as five and nine. 30 and six, however, are both divisible by six. So 30 divided by six is five, and then six divided by six is one. So these fractions cross simplify to five over one, and five over nine. All right, let's look at number three, three halves and four. So when I cross simplify fractions, I want both of the numbers to be in fraction form. So I'm gonna go ahead and change this to three halves and four over one, just so I can see exactly what's in the numerator and the denominator. Now I can see exactly how to cross simplify. So three and one don't have any common factors to simplify out, but four and two do. Those are both even, so I can divide by two. So the two divided by two is one, and then four divided by two is two. So these fractions simplify to three over one and two over one, or three and two. Okay, number four, they're both in fraction form, so let's cross simplify. Eight and 16 both have a common factor of eight, so eight divided by eight is one, 16 divided by eight is two. And then seven and 21 both have common factors of seven, seven divided by seven is one, 21 divided by seven is three. So these simplify to one over one and three over two, or just one and three halves. All right, number five, I have mixed numbers. So I need to convert them to improper fractions first. So remember we do three times seven, which is 21 plus three, which is 24 over seven. And two times three is six plus one is seven. Okay, now I can easily cross simplify. 24 and two are both even, so I can divide by two. The 24 changes to 12, the two changes to one. And then seven and seven both have that common factor of one. So the fractions become 12 over one and one over one, or just 12 and one. Okay, so mixed numbers I need to convert to fractions again. So three times one plus two is five. And then two times four is eight plus one is nine. Okay, so now I'm gonna cross simplify. So five and four do not have any common factors. Those will stay the same. Nine and three have a common factor of three. So nine divided by three is three. Three divided by three is one. So these fractions cross simplify to five over one and three over four or just five and three fourths. Okay, number seven, more mixed numbers, let's convert them. 
3 times 5 is 15 plus 2 is 17. And 2 times 10 is 20 plus 7 is 27. Okay, so 17 and 10 do not simplify, but 27 and 3 are both divisible by 3. So 3 divided by 3 is 1, 27 divided by 3 is 9. So I get 17 over 1 and 9 over 10, or just 17 and 9 tenths. All right, last one, let's cross simplify, or let's convert these mixed numbers first. So five times two is 10 plus one is 11. And then 22 times three is 66 plus one is 67. Okay, and 67 and five do not have any common factors, but 11 and 22 do. Those are both divisible by 11. And then my cross simplified fractions are one fifth and 67 halves.